All right, guys, Good boy 32 here. Check it out. So, yeah, yesterday, Carolina 3-Gun. Man, what a great day. And I will tell you this, the class of shooters that show up and shoot there, that is some of the top of the, the heap that I can think of. But in any case, uh, met a lot of cool folks, had a lot of good times, and uh, was experimenting between a couple of things, not necessarily just going up there and trying to shoot everything uh, based off of strategy, but trying to just play my game my deal was to take what I learned from the first two, which was making sure you met all the procedurals, uh, not stepping over fault lines, not doing anything stupid, not doing no shoots, that kind of thing, but also making sure we try to shoot the stages clean. But this time I wanted to add in a little bit of speed. Did that make a big difference for me? Probably not because, oh, I don't know. I placed 20th out of, hold on one second, uh, 36 shooters. Uh, but again, the class of shooters that show up there, this this was, I, I felt like a pretty good place uh, for where I am right now. Uh, I did make some mistakes. I got some no shoots. Uh, I was shooting uh, long distance targets with the, the wrong holdovers. <laughs> Just ridiculous things. But uh, what we're going to do, let's go through the uh, stages here and I'm going to tell you where I placed on each one of these things. So the uh, first stage that we're going to watch is actually stage four our first stage of the day now i will tell you straight up this first stage of the day for me was nothing but a cluster i started off i should have gone down and uh braced off of the uh, spool that was sitting there secondly i'm running a new holster system uh through g code in the rti thing i forgot to lock in my holster so when i drew my pistol the holster came with it my first thought was like, shit, I'm just glad I didn't DQ. But as Bobby, Bobby, uh, he stated, he said, if you'd have dropped your uh, pistol, it was still in the uh, holster and it was not, uh, it didn't have any bullets in it or mag wasn't in it. It wasn't loaded. The damn thing wasn't loaded. Uh, so in any case, uh, that held me up. Performed well on the shotgun. I probably should have gone ahead and loaded on the way to transition. But I, one of the things is I need to do this. I need to, what I learned. And we'll talk about this at the end. Let's get on to the video. You'll see it. And I want to give a big shout out. Thanks to Matt, uh, who uh, actually caught this on tape and sent this to me. Here we go. Anyway, you can see on that first stage, that was a complete cluster. I forgot to dump the pistol. Uh, I, it was just, I got a no shoot, left one standing. So out of all my stages right there on that particular stage, uh, I finished 26th out of the uh, whole group. Uh, so that was the, the lowest standings that I had. Had I actually shot that one clean and focused on what I was doing, uh, focused on walking through the stage at first, then I would have probably done a lot better. And I'm going to tell you the key word now between procedurals, uh, shooting clean, being fast, and focused. Those are the three words I want to express to you. All right, so the, on the next one, this is stage five. Uh, actually, I was 15th out of the 39 shooters uh, or the 36 shooters. So this was one of my better stages. Uh, sh this one was pretty clean. Um, I did have a malfunction on the shotgun on the last round that held me up for a couple seconds. So, you know what's amazing is the culmination of seconds and points. So, let's go ahead and watch that. Here we go. That's a short somewhere. Yeah. He's like, man, that's a bad I just, a no, yeah. Are you ready? Right. Stand by. How do I prove it's not? Hey! 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 Hey!
Right for clear. And the funny part about that whole thing is when you have a standing reload, it's not a good thing. But uh, at the end of the day, when I drew the shotgun, I was shooting a piece of paper uh, with a slug. And I didn't couldn't see if I hit it or not. So that's why I stuttered right there. But then all of a sudden, you're reloading and you're at your shooting position. So there's not a whole lot of transition or movement in between that. But you feel like things are just hauling ass but you're really not. Next stage is the uh, long stage. We're shooting out to 394. Uh, and this is the one where you started off slug, then you had a couple of, uh, uh, you had some, uh, what do you call those things? The uh, poppers, and then, uh, not poppers, but uh, clay pigeons. And then uh, shot down a long distance. There was a know your limits where we had a little up to the big. I couldn't hear the RO telling me if I was hitting or not. And I'll tell you the reason why is wearing it hear guards and you literally cannot hear anything when you're wearing those. And then uh, Bobby, uh, or no, Pat, was a very low voice. Not his fault. I just couldn't hear anything. Uh, also on the first long distance target that I was shooting was around two 50 and I was holding it on the 300 and I was shooting over. I didn't catch it till after the fourth shot. It took me two rounds to hit the rest of them. So here we go. All right, had a lot of fun on that stage. Uh, like I said, concentration and, and, and focusing. Got to be focused. You got to know exactly what's going on. As you see, when I was trying to sh hit the 250-yard uh, target, I was sitting there going, why am I not hitting this thing? <laughs> 250 yards, no big deal. But I realized, wrong holdover, boom, next shot, we're good. Now, the next one, this is uh, stage one of the, the course or the uh, match. Uh, didn't do too bad there. Uh, let's go back here. On stage six, I was 20th, but on stage one, I came in 22nd. Uh, again, with the the hearing, the hear guards, you can't, I couldn't hear anybody saying that the thing, uh, that the, the spinner went over. And I think what happened was, is I didn't think it was going to go over, and I went to quad load, and they were like, it's over, it's over. And it's funny when you can hear me say, somebody say something. But in any case, on the jungle run, you, it, it feels like you're just hauling ass, uh, but not really, okay? But uh, I left one standing on that one, which cost me 7.5 in points. Uh, hold on, let's go. Here we go. And step in when you hear the buzz. Shooter ready, stand by. It's good. It's good. It's good. You're good. Go. Oh, yeah. I might say
Okay. <laughs> that was a fun stage, but like I said, man, that one, it was just almost like you think you're hauling ass and it's just the whole world, the blinders are on and you're just loading as fast as you can because it was basically, there was no real long transition between any one shooting point. So you just loaded every time you had a couple point, a couple times or steps between targets, you just loaded. All right. Uh, the next stage is stage two. I was 15th on this one. This was one of my better stage zero. No, I had a two and a half points on the penalties there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and that was it. Let's go ahead and watch that one. This was fun. Oh, but I would like to say, uh, I left, uh, three targets sitting on the right hand side. Uh, so if you see, I go from left to right and then back across with the shotgun because I wanted to reload. And I realized as I was shooting the three low targets that there's identical three low targets on the right hand side. So that's why I had to run back over there, kill those, dump it and go hit the rest with the, uh, the, uh, pistol. But I led one shot on target, uh, one miss, I guess. All right, here we go. Stand by. So that was a fun stage. I almost fell over top of the uh, dump barrel there at the end. All right. So the final stage of the day for us was stage three. I placed 22nd overall on that one. Uh, it wasn't bad. Uh, that was one of my favorite stages, actually. I was the number. I was the one that lead off on that one. So when you lead off, uh, a lot of times you don't have an opportunity to see what other shooters are doing. So one of the things I could have probably uh, cut my time by when I picked the shotgun up, I could have quad load right off of that. That would have re eliminated a standing quad load uh, while I was shooting at the stage stationary targets and it quad load to engage the other targets on the left. Anyway, long story short, that uh, was one of my better stages and uh, that was the final stage of the day. Here we go. Are you ready? Stand by. Uh -uh. Okay. Damn boy! So that was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so here's the moral of the story. Moral of the story is focus. You have to be focused. So we have making sure that you're catching all the procedurals. Where are all your fault lines? Where not to go? Secondly is to sh shoot the stage clean. Get all your targets. Identify all your targets and know the ground count when you go into it. Secondly is try to figure out where you can pick up time. One, by loading in your transitions. Uh, anytime you have an opportunity to put more rounds in that shotgun, you want to do that. Uh, and then thirdly, focus. Focus, focus, 
focused. You have to be focused when you are going into this thing. You need to literally zero out everything that's going on around you and it is all about you and what's going on. Stop the bullshit, quit talking to everybody, that kind of thing. But this is all about maturity as you move along into the competition world. Guys, I can't express enough. If you can find a three gun event near you, Matt and Jake are out there shooting with a pump shotgun. Guys, remind me next time, shoot me an email, and I'll bring that Stoger out for you to use. But it, what a great group of guys we had this time. Um, I would say that uh, the hair guards, that I, I'm going to do a review on those. Uh, a gentleman out of Charlotte, North Carolina, Gary, makes those. Uh, they are custom fit, and you can't hear a damn thing, which is real good. But during competition world, you kind of want to be able to hear the, uh, the RO calling the, the uh, shots. Uh, or the hits. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this thing. Yeah, uh, this was a learning experience and it's a continuously learning experience. So if I can take the culmination of all the things that I've learned and bring those into upcoming video, or no, <laughs> upcoming competitions, you have to sit there and remind yourself, um, concentrate, focus, speed, know the procedures, uh, pick up areas where you can gain time or eliminate time. With that being said, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. Go to Boy32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.